Played a good good ball game. You know that that's that's a solid team, and uh, you know we we just got some big hits. I, to me, the the play of the early part of the game was just a great play by Casey Martin on a ground ball. Looked like it was headed into center field um, instead of runners at first and third, and nobody out. Uh, you know, they we, we turned a double play. They're two outs and nobody on. And, um, you know, that was a big momentum swing. We got the next guy out and, uh, you know, here we go. So that uh, that was big time defensive play. And, you know, I felt like that Patrick Wick Wicklander had really good stuff. Um, he just didn't command some of it. I mean, he walked the first batter of the first three innings and they didn't score a run. Very unusual a lot of times. But, uh, he bounced back and, and uh, you know, seven or eight strikeouts. And I think those, yeah, and those are the only three walks he had in five innings. Uh, we almost let him go back out for the sixth. The more we talked about it in there, we just we just felt like that, um, you know, maybe it's let's let's just get him out of there. And uh, but I, I like what I see from him. And uh, you know, he's a guy that could pitch for us every Tuesday or Wednesday. Or you know, if he keeps pitching well, maybe maybe we flip him to the weekend to keep some of the older guys in the bullpen. So. Uh, Big timely hits, you know, late. A couple to kind of blow that out, kind of, you know, blow out the game there in the sixth. Um, that, that was really good to see. Both times when you walk the leadoff guy, he comes around to score, and then he did it three straight innings. I mean, what did you think about him in, in that regard and being able to work through that? Well, he's, you know, he's, uh, he's gained a lot of experience. Obviously, his first outing here, he strikes out. You know, two, three weeks ago, he strikes out three hitters on 10 pitches and go to USC, and he doesn't throw the ball over the plate. We pitch him a second time against USC, and he's so close to getting a win. He gives up a base hit with two strikes. Uh, he's been through a lot already, but we keep putting him out there because he's a good pitcher, and we need him, and he can handle it. So I guess what I think about him is that, uh, you know, I, I feel like he's going to be a big part of the pitching staff, and we're trying to get, get him some experience. Uh, and and we're and he's getting it, and I think he's he's shown you know hey I walk leadoff man I can get out of it he did three innings in a row and uh, that that's a good sign. Franklin Franklin doesn't seem to be showing any signs of letting up right now. What what do you think of him today? Yeah, a couple of really big hits. Obviously, he's got the first hit for us, and then uh, you know got the the big triple there that kind of kind of finished it off so to speak with uh, the big inning and. Uh, you know, that was a big hit following, you know, Jacob Nesbitt's hit, which was really nice because, you know, we, we keep track of, uh, you know, matchups and the right hander that they brought in to face our right handers, lefties were hitting over 500 against him, but righties weren't hitting hardly anything against him, like 063. And I think Jacob hit the first pitch or second pitch, and, and so did Christian, and both of our right handed hitters got him pretty good. So, but, you know, Christian just, uh, you know, he didn't walk today, I don't think, which he seems like he gets a walk game and maybe hit a game. And he's gotten a lot of big hits for us. That's why his RBI production's up. And, uh, you know, like I told our team, we, we still got some of our veteran players. They haven't heated up yet, and we're still finding ways to win. And uh, they'll get there, and they'll, they'll – uh, you know, they'll, they'll figure it out a little bit. Sometimes that second year, after having a big year, you start to press a little bit, and everybody expects you to do everything. And – you know, we're still winning games and other guys are getting it done, so uh, they'll come around. You still like him hitting high? Yeah, yeah. And, and I think down the road, he, you know, not, not, not necessarily this year, uh, you know, he's going to be a one-two hole hitter. But, you know, it's all the same to me. I just want our lineup to be, uh, you know, deep, so to speak. You know, you don't want it to just kind of fall apart. And, I, and so you got to have guys – you got to feel good about scoring in the third, not just the first or the fifth. You know, you got to have some guys down there that can do it. And that's, I mean, Kenley's hitting better than maybe a seven-hole hitter right now, but I like him there. And um, you know, it's it's worked out so far. What do you think about Trey Harris, the DH spot today? You know, Trey Trey just seems to get on base a little bit. A couple walks his first, you know, uh, the first game I put him out there, and today he gets an infield hit. Uh, but then he then he hits the ball about as hard as you can hit it, and he gets caught. And it's kind of the way the game works. But I, I tell you what I see is uh, I see him really swinging the bats well against the lefties. And uh, he lets who he lined out to left against, and he hit one hard as last to bat against the lefty. And uh, you know, it, it, we just right now he's our he's going to DH for us. You know, he brings a little bit of speed, a little athleticism there at that position. Uh, 
you know, if we could get Goodhart going again, I think he's a, he's just really struggling mentally uh, and and just you know can't break out of it. Uh, we need to get him going a little bit, so maybe he can help us against some of the, the those right-handed pitchers. I imagine Sells is one of those guys you were talking about trying to throw in there. I mean, he yeah. hard luck not getting a couple of calls today, but yeah. What do you, what do you hope to get? Out of him? Well, you know, he's been all but begging us to pitch and he's got a good arm uh still obviously he's still learning and you know just uh just glad we got to get him in there you know as a kid that <clears throat> he doesn't want a red shirt we didn't want to red shirt him if he doesn't want to and uh you know we got games next week two games in the middle of the week a couple more times this you know this spring so we're going to need some more arms it was good to get him in the game and it's really good to get liam henry in there and uh, got to give that left-handed hitter hit a pretty good curveball for a single, and then he got a good, good, you know, strike out there to end the game on on his breaking ball. He's got a really good breaker, and we're looking for a guy that can maybe come in and get a lefty out. And uh, you know, there's a, there's another maybe another pitcher or two we might try to get in the game in the next week. But uh, it, it was good to get Carter in there. He works he works as hard as anybody, and uh, you know, I feel bad that the numbers don't add up because we felt like he should have had another K. And then obviously the ball that he gets a capper ball spinning like crazy and it just jumped up on Jack out of nowhere and, uh, you know, get, says he's got two earned runs here. But, uh, you know, that, that that's probably not really what happened. What do you know about Louisiana Tech coming up? <laughs> You know, turning to them, and it's kind of what I talked to the team about. This will be, uh, this might be the best team we played all year. Uh, you know, when you look at their team, uh, you know, picked to win their league by one pole second behind, I think Southern Miss maybe, and uh, in another. And um, I'm not sure if they've, one of their starting pitchers is 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 out, but I knew that going into the season they had uh, all three of their conference starters back. And they had at least eight of their nine position players from last year back, and maybe all nine. Uh, they'll probably be one of the older teams we play. Uh, they're not scared. And this is uh, this will be a big challenge for us, big challenge for them. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to see how, how it goes. I, I see it as, as, a, as an SEC-type series. Do you know what your rotation is going to be like? Yeah, we'll go with uh, Campbell game one. Connor Nolan game two and uh, Scroggins in game three. You had that game down there two years ago when you were down nine runs, came back and won. What do you remember about that? Well, I remember we lost the day before. Yeah. And we should have won. And was not very happy. Mm -hmm. And had a few words and got after him pretty good And uh, after that game. And then I thought, well, that didn't help because we're down nine to one after three. But we just, here we came. You know, I just remember. Uh, you know, they might get us out real quick, and we'd hit a single, and we'd hit a homer. They'd get us out, get us out, two base hits, home run. Kind of before they knew what to do. They'd get a couple quick outs, and bang, bang, bang. And uh, next thing you know, we're up like 13 to 9. They didn't know what hit them. And uh, that was a big win for us, that, that second game. We were on our way down to the Frisco tournament. Had to face a, an All-American on that Friday from Arizona, and he beat us one to nothing. And uh, you know that was that was a good trip. I think I think we got better on that trip. You hired Lane at Northwestern mm -hmm. State. I don't think did, did you guys ever coach together? Yeah, I hired him, and he was with me that summer and all that fall. And I took the Nebraska job, so I coached with him in the fall. Really like Lane. He's a he's a real really good person off the field. Human being is what I'm saying. He's just a good individual. Very competitive on the field. Um, just a high character coach. He's he's a he's a good one. You've got a lot of instances where you're going to face guys that you know who've coached with this year. I mean, what's it like in those games? It's fun until they throw we throw the first pitch, then it's all they're not our friends right there. You know, you got to try to find a way to win. You know, it's it's all good before, but uh, you know, you just example. We go to A and M. I don't I don't go over to Coach Childress's house the whole time I'm there. Believe me, we do. We don't even talk except for the game. So it's just, uh, it's good though, you know. Vitell will be coming in, and it's. Uh, I'm proud of those guys, you know. They, they've, they've, they've worked hard, and and they're getting what they deserve.